Hey everyone, Marco here and welcome back to the channel. Creating business proposals can be incredibly time consuming, especially if like me your pricing depends on your client's specific needs. But what if you could automate the entire process and generate highly customized proposals in just a few clicks? Today I'm going to show you how to do that using Tana AI agents combined with make.com to create a seamless workflow that will save you time and effort. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start with the discovery call you have with your client. I've set up a sample one here as an example. In this case, the discovery call super tag extends from the meeting super tags. That means it inherits all the fields and commands associated with meetings, including the AI meeting agent. Whenever you create a meeting or a discovery call, you'll see this button here. Clicking it adds the meeting agent to your call, so when the time comes, it automatically joins the meeting and transcribes everything. Since this is just a sample meeting, the button is still visible, but in a real scenario, once the call ends, the AI meeting agent processes the transcript and generates a detailed summary. Now, the key idea here is to take all the insights from that call and instantly turn them into a personalized business proposal. To make that happen, we need to create an AI agent that will do the heavy lifting for us. I've already set up the agent, but to give you a quick rundown, creating an AI agent in Tana is super simple. Start with a node, let's call it Business Proposal Agent. Open the command line with Command K or Control K on Windows, search for Convert to Agent, and you are good to go. Now, let's talk about how to configure the agent. The first and most important thing is the system prompt. If you are not familiar with this term, think of it as the AI's rulebook. It tells the agent exactly how to behave, what to focus on and the kind of responses it should generate. As you can see, I've included a lot of information, starting by saying you are an AI proposal generator specialized in productivity systems and business automation, working with Marco Serafini, a productivity consultant and system designer. Your role is to extract key details from discovery calls and produce highly personalized ROI-driven proposal. With this statement, I defined the agent's core identity and purpose. To refine its responses, I've also defined core values such as focus on sustainable scaling through intelligent automation, emphasize on right tools, right processes, right implementation, balance between efficiency and adaptability, integration of cutting-edge tools, for example ClickUp, Tana, Make, with proven methodologies. Beyond this, I've added detailed instructions on data extraction, validation protocols, proposal structure, and even the tone and style it should use. The more context we provide, the better the AI performs. Note that, while it's not mandatory to structure prompts with the nested nodes like I've done here, I highly recommend it for longer, more detailed prompts to keep things organized. Next, we have the chat greeting. This is just a friendly opener the agent sends when the conversation starts. For this agent, I've set it to I'm reviewing the meeting node name and preparing a detailed business proposal based on the retrieved information. That node name dynamically pulls the meeting's title, so in this case it would be Discovery Call with Jordan. Then there's the initial prompt, which is what actually kicks off the conversation. Here I ask AI to generate the proposal for attendees, and by writing dollar sign and attendees, it pulls the attendee name directly from the meeting node. I also specify a precise proposal structure. The input data, that in this case is the entire meeting context, and the output requirements, including full proposal in markdown code block format, summary of key assumptions, list of required clarifications, next steps outline, and do not add any unrequested commentary. You can also set additional parameters like the node filter, which restricts which node this agent can run on, temperature, which controls the AI's creativity, and compact menu, which adds custom commands inside the chat for quick actions. Finally, the AI model. I use GPT-40 as I find it gives the best results for this type of request. Ok, now that we have our agent, we need a way to trigger it. Let's create a custom command called Generate Business Proposal. Open the command line, search for Convert to Command node, and select Start AI Chat. In the Agent field, simply copy and paste our Business Proposal agent. 
Then we can also add the target node parameter that will automatically insert the chat we have with our agent into a dedicated field of our meeting. In this case, I'll use the proposal field, which is an optional field of the meeting super tag. I will simply copy and paste it here. Now let's test it. I select my discovery call node, open the command line and run generate business proposal. The agent kicks in, confirms it's reviewing the meeting and starts generating the proposal. The full proposal appears in Markdown, along with the key assumptions, required clarifications and next steps. To streamline this even further, let's add a button to the discovery call so we can trigger this without opening the command line. Inside the configuration panel of the discovery call super tag, under AI and commands, full menu, just paste the generate business proposal command. If you plan to add more AI agents, like one for follow-ups or check-ins, you can group them under a command group called something like AI agents. Open the command line, search for convert to group and place the command beneath it. Now let's rename the command to something like proposal agent. And this gives you a drop-down menu inside your discovery calls to access all your AI driven tools in one place. Ok, let's return to our proposal. I chose to write it in markdown format because I can easily share it with other apps and create a file to send to the client. To do this, we will use make.com. Basically, our automation will receive the proposal via a webhook, standardize the text and extract the client's name using the make AI modules, convert the markdown proposal to HTML and finally create a Google Doc. Ok, let's start with the command we need to create in Tana. We will call it generate the proposal file. The command we need is make API request. The first parameter to set is the API method. We need to set it to post because we are sending information from Tana to make. Then add the authorization header. Here you need to write bearer followed by the API key you find under Settings and API Tokens. Next, we need to add the payload, specifying the data we want to send to make.com. Now, the goal is to automatically trigger this command when I add a proposal super tag to the markdown code block containing the proposal. This will make the code block the name of the node tagged as proposal. Therefore, in the payload, I include in JSON format a key called proposal and the value will be the name of the new tagged node that corresponds to our entire proposal. The final parameter to add is parse result, which should be set to this regard. Now, we only need to insert the URL of the webhook that will receive the data we send. Let's return to make and in a new scenario, add a webhook module. Select custom webhook, click add, give it a name and then click save. Copy the address and paste it into the URL field of our command. Now let's open the configuration for the proposal super tag. I created it earlier, but as you can see, it is completely empty. Here I simply need to copy the command and paste it under onAdded. This means that the command will automatically trigger once the proposal tag is applied. Let's test this. I activate the scenario on make.com by clicking run once and apply the proposal super tag to my proposal. And as you can see, the webhook received the entire proposal. Next, I need to add the Make AI tool called Standardize Text and insert the proposal from the webhook. Just a note, if you don't see the Make AI tools section is because at the time of this recording, these modules are in beta. 
I thought it was a good opportunity to show two of them in action, but you can also use the ChatGPT module. Next, I add another Make AI tool called Extract Information from Text. I use this tool to retrieve the client's name. Under Text, I insert the standardized text from the previous module. Next, I click on Add Information and specify what I want to extract in the description. In this case, it's the name of the client. Then, I enter the name that the parameter will use in the output, for example, client underscore name, and the output type will be text. Let's test this again to see how the outputs from these new modules look. I click on Run once, return to Tana, remove the proposal super tag from the proposal, and then add it again. As you can see, the output from the standardized text module is well structured compared to the initial data received from the webhook. Additionally, the extract information from text feature retrieved the client's name correctly. Perfect, next we will convert the text from Markdown to HTML so that it's ready to be used for creating a Google Doc. The value to insert here is the one stored in the standardized text. And finally, add the Create a Document module from Google Docs. For the file name, we can write Proposal 4, followed by the client's name, which is stored in the Extract Information from Text module. In the Content field, I insert the output in HTML. And finally, I choose the location where the Google Doc will be saved. Save the scenario, and let's proceed with the final test. Click Run once, return to Tana, remove the proposal super tag, and then add it again. The automation is running. and the Google Doc should be created successfully. Let's verify this. I will open the Google Drive folder specified in Make, and here we have our proposal for Jordan Reynolds. Make your adjustments and send it to the client. And that's it. With the power of Tana AI Agents and Make.com, you can create highly efficient workflows that save you valuable time. If you want to try Tana and Make.com, you'll find my affiliate link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember, you can follow me on X, Mastodon and Blue Sky and join my Discord server and subscribe to my newsletter for more deep dives into productivity, knowledge management and automation. All the links are below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, Stay productive.